easy kids here. These are two of our top subscribers, so we brought them over to make a video with us. Do you guys remember this fish tank? Oh my God, I got kids in there. This fish tank here, Paul used to have it as his salt water tank, but on today's episode, we're gonna be changing this to fresh water. We filled it up, cleaned it all out. We got a castle, we got fans, we got blowers, we got VZ kits and their top subscribers in the tank. So we're gonna head over to Bad Fish in Jupiter. We're gonna pick up like 10 fish. I don't even know what we're picking up. But stick around, we got an episode for you. Flashback. So I'm taking some water out so I can start moving some of these bigger pieces of coral that won't fit in a bag. Tommy, what'd you get? So this is a sea cucumber. Sea cucumbers eat sand. Uh, they filter out all the gunk. So these are really beneficial cleanup crew. And uh, your son was pointing out that it looks smaller now. That's because they have a hydrostatic skeleton. So instead of bones, they use water to uh, make their shape. And so when you take it out of the water, they leak some and they get smaller. So now we're gonna jump inside here with this GoPro and watch Tommy grab some of these fish out of there. So what he's doing now is he's gotta move some of these rocks to find a couple hidden ones because we don't want to leave them in there, drain out the water, because they'll die. So we got those two fish he's getting out now. And I guess he's going to be getting that eel. Um, I think we might just throw Anthony in there and have him grab it. Would you be okay with that, Anthony? Throw me in there? That sounds like a good idea. Freshwater tank has been completely emptied. We're gonna fill it up with some gravel and some fake plants and maybe some real plants. And if this was yours and just yours, what would you put in there? Goldfish with the big goldfish. I don't know what they're called. But goldfish with the big goldfish. No, goldfish with the big head thing. Goldfish with the big head. So Anthony's? Axolotl. Axolotl, what about you? A whole bunch of guppies. And a flashback. All right guys, so we're here in North Palm at Badfish, Florida. Um, Alexa, the owner, gave us a call, said come on up and get some fish. They got some amazing fish in here. So let's go see what she's got for the VZ kids because I don't even know what she's got for us, but it's gonna be a bunch of stuff she's putting in our tank. So check them out. Hey guys, Instagram link will be below. Yo, this place is amazing. They got everything in here. Check out this place. What do they got? Beta fish. Beta fish. Beta fish. Whatever you want to say. Beta beta? Beta beta. Comment down below what you say. What do you guys call it? I call it beta fish. I say beta. Oh, they got everything. Yo. Nothing stop. <laughs> Alexa said we should get this rope fish, so we're gonna go with what she said. So here it is. We're gonna try to catch it.
got like 10 more to go. So this is Alexa. She's the owner of Bad Fish here in North Palm Beach, North right? Palm Beach. Her Instagram, it's popping. They got so many good pictures of fish and everything you need. I mean, you guys see the shop. Make sure you check out the link below to get on their Instagram. And if you're ever in this area, come by here, tell the Visa Kids sent you, and take home a free lollipop <laughs> on us. Free. So we just want to say thank you so much for your business. Thank and you. we're going to be doing a lot in the future Excited together. Excited to work with you. Excited. <laughs> what about you? I'm excited. We're leaving. We got so many fish and plants and driftwoods, but look at I got workers. Look at these guys all carrying stuff for us. This is what we do in the VZ Kids Farm. They carry everything. What? What's the matter? It's so heavy. Oh well, man up. I'll film you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I have to hold the camera because it's heavy as well. So guys, remember. Bad fish in North Palm. I'm definitely going to be linking them below. We got so many fish. I can't wait till we get home. I'm going to show you everything while we acclimate them. But can you help me? I, I can't actually. My arm, my left arm is broken from Vietnam. <laughs> All right, guys. Alexa from Bad Fish took care of us. Hooked it up. Hooked up the VZ kids. So we got all the fish, and here's how we're gonna acclimate them. Because the pH in here is different than the pH in here, we're gonna put them in little self-made Walmart brand buckets. Don't worry about the perfect. It's good vodka. We're gonna put them in these buckets, and then we're gonna put them in their water, and then every 10 minutes, we're gonna add a scoop of that water. Hey, we got a VZ kit in there. We're gonna add a scoop of that water into here to acclimate them with the pH levels. Then after about an hour of that, then we can take them and put them in there. I so hope they don't jump out. I hope they don't jump out. Okay. What's the first fish that we're gonna do? I'm gonna be doing the Oscars, and each of them have the number to say which bin they go on to, into. So this one has number one, so we can do a number yeah. one bin. We don't have names for any of these. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. But tell us your favorite fish down below in the comments. And smash that like button for bad fish. They really took care of these kids. You got this open yet, bro? <laughs> they did this really well. That's the Oscar. Okay. So you pour that in there. Anthony's on watching in case they jump out. Anthony, if they jump out, you have to grab them and put ketchup on them and eat them. Open it and then push it in the Oh, there it is! Oh! Oscar! I'm so sorry, that was so bad. All right, Oscar number two. This is weird. God! Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh! She's a runner, she's a track star. She gon' run away when it gets hard. Don't stress him out, bro. Oh, really oh, oh. Oscar number two. All right. I didn't drop him in. That was the other fish dropping. Bucket number one is done. Now on to bucket number two. It says that parrot. Too. That goes in number two, and yeah. that's a parrot what? A parrot. Oh, it's a parrot bird. We bought a bird. So the next one is a blood parrot cichlid. Oh my god, he's so cute. He looks like you. It looks like these ones, but tinier. It, Those has, are it has no red fins. Those are Oscars. And I don't forget, and subscribe to Make My Mosquito Bite Heal. Guys, subscribe to Make His Mosquito Bite Heal. You can just pour him completely in there. Yeah, because we're just going to pick up. And that one's really, really good. No, you have to open it so you can go. Oh! You should have just picked him up, bro. That's why you need to do it. <gasps> Oh, he's so beautiful. This is the best beautiful. container. Oh, gosh. He looks so gracious. Okay, Wait, so that's now, number two also. And that's the polar, polar parrots. parrots. Those are polar parrot cichlids. I think oh, they're so good. Oh, my God. They're fire, as the TikTokers and YouTubers say. Those things are fire. Bite here and pull. No one I bite. Use your teeth. I pay for your dentistry. We're good. Okay, okay. Oh, you're gonna pick them up? Good job. I have to. Those are the polar parrot cichlids? Oh, look at he met his homie. What if he ate him right now? Oh, gosh. The other guy's bigger than him. That one is blue right on his stomach. Guys, comment down below if your YouTuber has a rope, snake, or reed fish. I don't see too many, so we had to get it because like I always tell you guys, we want to be a little bit different. The next one we got is a rope, or reed, or a snake fish. He's gonna be the alpha in there. They eat meat. I know they do. They're gonna eat my fingers. Because your fingers look like Vienna sausages. Oh! oh. oh. Damn. You can't even see them. Alright. 
Beasy Kids. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get cups of water from over there and we're gonna put it in there, like I said, every 10 minutes to manage the pH. This is how you acclimate your fish when you put them in a new aquarium. He's so cool. You're so cool. He's so cool. Oh. Look at it. What's next? Did we put, get more? Wait, 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 I'm putting my hand on him so you can see his ears. His oh, ears. his ears. ears. Where are they His fins, his little fins. Fin daddy. No, that he moves. That's his, his, that's his like. Show me how you would swim if you were a ribbon snake. I believe I can fly. So next, we have the plecos. Hey. Pleco! To the there you go. Good job. I can't even see him. Oh, I can't even see him. Here, just push him. Oh. Oh my god. Ow, it's sharp. Yeah, you gotta grab his fins and put him down. Be careful. There you go. Be careful. Good job. Oh, good. You're like a veterinarian. <laughs> Alexa, when you watch this video, if you want to hire Rihanna, you see she's 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 good, man. I'm telling you, she knows what she's doing. Okay, guys, so we're gonna put half of the cup. Of water inside of there, so I'm just gonna measure out half. I hey, bad fish. Okay, so I took half of this water. And we're gonna put it in with the other fish. All right, do it. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh my God, you're running too fast. I can't catch you. Okay. Wow. So what that does, guys, is they get acclimated to the pH level that's in there to what they originally had because it was a little bit off. So we're gonna do that every 10 minutes and then after about an hour, so six times for all you mathematicians. Six times, then we're gonna put them all in there. Hey, there's another VZ kid in there. Hey, how you doing? So my plan is to have the bigger rocks like over here and have some smaller ones over there because we have two big things on each side. So I'm gonna start by putting this big one in. This one's really nice. Ooh. Okay. Don't want to drop it. I can't see anything I'm doing. So reach. You're like eight feet tall. You're good. All right. We got Rihanna doing our substrate. Yeah, get that good in there. Bro, the levels these VZ kids go to for you guys is nuts. Smash that like button. Look at her. She's literally in the tank fixing the substrate. <laughs> That's Puerto Rican hair, bro. She has to straighten that for hours. And she's doing this for y'all. <laughs> right, guys, so it's been about more than an hour. I think it's like an hour and 30 minutes. And it's time for them to go inside of the tank. There's a leaf on the fan. What? There's a leaf on the fan. <laughs> hey, Mr. Leaf, what's your name? Guys, comment down below if you want to name this leaf. Sorry. He's gonna live in this tank. All right, cool. This leaf will live forever. Okay, so now we're gonna put the fish in. So I'm what fish? These are the... Oscars. And the Oscars are in. They found their house, guys. What's next? The other fish. <laughs> the other fish. The other fish. All right, so next are the parrots. Parrots? Like parrots. birds? Like no, like parrot fish. Parrot sickle. I'm even saying that, right? All right. These guys are super ready to get out of here. Oh, they're swimming out on their own. Oh, they swim out of there. And there they go. Where'd they go? What's next? Oh, look at them. You can't even see their it. House. Look at their house. Look oh, at them. they're having a good time. Oh, you can see it way better here. Can you guys see it? Well, yeah. He is ready to get out. This is like our, um, our eel. Come here. Drink the water with it. Yeah. Oh, just... I underestimate how heavy that was. Go out. Where is he going? Oh, he, he, he's out. He there. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, there he is down there. Where'd he go? He's in there. He's in the castle. Inside. Is that your castle, bro? Last up is the plecos. What are they for? They're to clean. Clean what? Stuff. <laughs> move, move, move. Go, go. And they're in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's gone. Hey, they're good. Let's see from the front. Hey. Chilling. 
The dogs are very Guys, remember, drop some comments below some names for these guys. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. Just drop some names that you want. Look at the Plecos. All right, guys, so Alexa from Bad Fish sent us this. Extreme Aquatic Foods. She said this is the best of the best. This is what everybody's using, and this is the best for our fish. So for their first feeding, we're going to throw a little bit of that in there for them. They're getting used to their new home, so they're not going to eat, but at least they have it if they want it. So we drizzle it up on the top, and then these guys can go eat anytime they want. Oh, my God! Wow! Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Make sure to click up here to watch some more Beezy Kids. Bye! Bye.